He sent a word. The Lord sent a word to Jacob. And he lighted up. He lighted upon Israel. It was his word. It was the fruit of his word. Meaning the word of God is supposed to produce in your life. There are so many of us who have the word. But the word is not working. What made Jacob become Israel and individual becoming an institution was the efficacy and the productivity of the word. Let the word of God walk in my life. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 4, I believe it's 32, 22 or so. It says, they are health to them that find them. And they are life unto their flesh. They are life to those that find them rather. And health unto their flesh. That's what the word of God is. Hebrews 4, 22, 4 verse 12 rather. The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any treasure sword. Piercing to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. And of the joys and of the morals. And it's a discerner of the thought. Look at that. The word of God is a sword. It's God's surgical instrument. And of the joints and it's a discerner of the thoughts. And the intents of the heart. How come you have this word? Words have been placed on you. This word of God. This word of God is that which you hold so sacred in your heart. And yet it has not produced for you. He sent a word to Jacob. And that word he said to Jacob produced and made him a light to Israel. Let the word of God walk in my life. Amen. Amen. My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your word walk in my life. Let your word walk in my life. Let your word walk in my life. Open your mouth and fire prayers. I'm <laughs> 